ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఓరియంటెడ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ద మెయిన్ ఎయిమ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఏఓపి ఈజ్ వాట్ ద మెయిన్ ఎయిమ్ ఆఫ్ ఏఓపి ద మెయిన్ ఎయిమ్ ఆఫ్ ఏఓపి ద ఎయిమ్ ఆఫ్ ఏఓపి ఈజ్ మెయింటైన్ AOP is maintain like independent business layer and service layers using AOP what we can do we can divide application services I mean services we can divide from application we can write them separately finally we can add using AOP the main aim is what instead of writing business along with service instead of combining business and service in one class using aop what we can do we can write services separately that services we can add to the business using aop so the main aim is here maintain maintain like code division code division maintain code division or else separate separate services from business it will separate your services from business you can write separate services instead of writing services under business <coughs> generally if you don't have aop what happens if you don't have op aop whenever you required services in your business whenever you required services in business let's say if services if you are going to buy from web logic services will provide by application server vendors or else you can use services provided by spring also spring also can provide services and third parties also can provide services so third party web logic will provide transaction service web logic will provide security service web logic can provide mailing services it can provide jms service let's say if the services are from web logic application server vendor and if that services if you want to use in your business if that services if you want to use in your business what usually we should write here this transactions we need to look up transaction we should look up we need to look up transactions means look up transactions code we need to write here whenever you required service security security you need to look up here security look up when are you required mailing mailing services we need to look up here along with the services we need to write your business code also here you need to write all the services along with your business code if you write the services along with your business code the problem with this code is what in future if you want to <coughs> in future if you want to cancel contract with web logic people and if you want to go through like web speed if you want to use any web spare services in future if you want to change your services from any other application server vendor let's say if you want to use web spare instead of using web logic so in that case what we should do again our business code we need to edit there instead of look uping web logic services we need to look up this transactions this security this jms services we need to look up so then your business code again you need to change here in case directly if you write web logic services code here in future if you want to migrate application from web logic to web spare your business code you need to change here and the problem with this kind of code is what whenever you required changes on services that service changes may affect your business code okay the services code it may affect your business code so that instead of writing the services code and business code together using aop what we can do we can write separate services we can write separate business let's say if you want to use web logic services if you want to use web logic services in case of aop what happens if it requires transactions security mailing services jms services if the services required and if you are using web logic that services code you can write separately in spring service implementations or else you can write simple poso classes in that poso classes you can look up here write a poso class for transactions poso transaction poso class security poso class mailing poso class jms poso class 
and here you can look up that services transaction lookup security lookup okay jms lookup or mailing service lookup jms lookup operations write your lookup operations here means you just look up your services from here to simple poso classes if you treat these classes like services if you treat this classes like services this services code this code if you want to execute along with your business code instead of placing inside business code write only business code here write only business code here along with your business code this services code aop will combine this services code aop will combine at runtime so that you can write separate services in a separate service layer at runtime that services you can attach to business so in future if you want to cancel contract with web logic people and if you want to move through web logic or web sphere or jboss if you want to move through web sphere services let's say if they are also providing services like transaction securities mailing services or jms services write one more separate service layer write simple poso classes here write simple poso classes transaction poso security jms mailing poso classes So in this poso classes, look up this services, web sphere services. Look up here, transaction look up, security look up, mailing look up, JMS look up. Then at runtime you can attach these services to AOP, and you can remove this dependency here. You can remove dependency from web logic, and you can add web sphere services at runtime to your AOP. and instead of executing your services from web logic now onwards it will execute services from web sphere in future if you don't want web sphere services and spring providing free services right so spring also having these all implementations so spring security spring transactions or spring mailing services or spring jms services if you want to use for your application then that service implementations right here at run time you can attach that service implementation and you can remove this dependency also here means your business code is not having any particular service dependency but if you write a services code here then your business will become service depend dependent okay so to maintain independence to maintain independence of service for our application we need to go through aop using aop at run time we can add services to our business okay you no need to write code here but the execution will execute like under business code only means while executing your business code well, along with your business code it will execute services code for that one you don't need to write that code along with your business you can write separate classes that separate classes code it will execute along with your business code only okay how it will execute aop will do what internally whenever you attach services and whenever you attach services and whenever you attach business to aop internally aop will do what it will generate proxies proxy means what in java proxy means a duplicate instance so for which class it will create duplicate instance for your business class under business class we have business code right so for this business class it will create one business proxy it will generate one business proxy means it's a duplicate instance it's a duplicate instance of business so in this business proxy what it will do it will add services transaction security mailing jms your services it will attach to your business code and that code it will attach in your proxy object it will generate a proxy that proxy will have your business code along with your services code finally this aop will produce as business proxy object business proxy object it will produce whenever you execute business proxy dot methods whenever you execute business proxy dot methods usually it will execute this methods let's say if you have a method here this method it will execute but while executing this method along with your business code it will do what the services also it will execute okay so finally aop doing what here aop job is what main name here it is separating services from business mainly it is separating services from business finally it is doing about combining aop combining services along with our business code okay so it will who will combine here aop proxy classes will combine in aop we have some proxy classes that proxy classes will do what services code they will combine with business code so coming to that proxy classes and services <coughs> the main aim is make business service 
इंडिपेंडेंट द मेन एम ऑफ एओपी मेक बिजनेस सर्विसेस इंडिपेंडेंट ओके हियर इन एस्पेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग एस्पेक्ट मींस एस्पेक्ट मींस सर्विस एस्पेक्ट मींस सर्विस हियर एस्पेक्ट मींस सर्विस सो देन यू कैन कॉल सर्विस ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग जस्ट टू ऐड सर्विसेज टू बिजनेस वी आर यूजिंग इट ओके जस्ट टू ऐड सर्विसेज टू बिजनेस एट रन टाइम वी आर एडिंग इट आई मीन वी आर यूजिंग इट फॉर एडिंग सर्विसेज टू बिजनेस एट रन टाइम सो एस्पेक्ट मींस सर्विस and here note some keywords aspect advice advice means advice means aspect only advice means aspect only and point cut point cut service execution point service execution condition point service execution condition is point cut means sometimes you may require transaction service to your business sometimes you may require securities to your business let's say if the business class if it is bank class let's say if your business class if it is bank class if it is a bank class in this bank class if you have a method deposit withdraw find balance okay if you have methods deposit withdraw find balance create account delete account whenever you require to deposit whenever you require to withdraw in this two cases if you required transaction service here if you want to execute transactions for this one and for this one for the remaining services find balance create account delete account for this remaining three methods if you don't want to execute your transaction service let's say if you are going to add transactions to this bank business class aop will do what for each and every method execution before it will execute all your services by using a decorator pattern naturally it will execute it so the decorator will do what while executing your methods along with your method the services code also it will execute so whenever i try to execute deposit transactions it will execute whenever i try to execute withdraw then transaction it will execute whenever i required find balance or create account or delete account in that cases if you don't want to execute transactions for only for some methods like deposit method for withdraw method only if you want to execute transactions then you need to apply conditions to the op you need to pass a condition here through what you need to pass that condition point cut through point cut you need to pass condition through point cut you need to pass condition based on that condition aop will execute your services from particular methods only for particular methods only it will execute your services so service execution point service execution condition point is point cut and advice advisor 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 is combination of advice plus point cut advisor is combination of advice plus point cut advice means what again advice means it's a aspect service advice means service so the combination of service plus condition service plus condition service plus condition this both combination is advisor while adding while adding this point cut for what we are applying this point cut let's say if it is transaction transaction condition in this condition what we need to write in this condition i want to execute only for deposit method i want to execute only for withdraw method in this way if you write conditions in this point cut class if i write conditions i want to execute for deposit i want to execute for withdraw this conditions applying for which service let's say if it is transaction service you need to combine this transactions and this point cut using a advisor finally this advisor will advise to your op execute transaction service on this particular conditions while executing deposit while executing withdraw method only you need to execute transaction services who will advise advisor will advise to proxy so advisor job it will advise a service on a condition it will advise a service on a particular condition that is the job of advisor and <coughs> proxy 
here this is what this one is proxy AOP here it is proxy proxy so proxy will do what it will it will add services code to business code and generates proxy finally it will generate proxy generate a proxy means finally it is doing what combining services along with your business and generates proxy object that is the job of proxy class and the proxy class name is the class name is it's a proxy factory bin factory bin classes generally what they will do factory bin classes factory bins will create other class instances whenever you create factory bin object in spring instead of returning factory bin class object it used to return that class implementation get object method return values okay